see this output is going to be like this 1 1 2 uh, sorry 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 so how many lines we are going to print 1 2 3 4 5 so four lines will take a variable int i for row and for printing each column we need j we will write 4 i equals to 1 means lines will start from 1 i is less than equals to 5 5 lines are there 1 2 3 4 5 okay then i plus plus clear once we go inside this loop we are going to print all these ones so how many ones will be printed in first row it will be dependent by the row number when row is 1 1 1 will be printed when row is 2 2 row will, uh, two ones will be printed when row is 3 3 will be printed like this okay so it is dependent upon row we will start another loop for columns for j equals to 1 column will start from 1 okay j is less than equals to i row number okay and j plus plus clear inside this whatever we will be printing is a fixed value so fixed value is one so we will write print f within double quotes one then space because the space is there in between okay this is a space for better looking space should be given or according to the output space should be given now j loop is printing one line at a time once i come out of the loop now see after for loop is ended j loop is ended we should print a new line after printing all this we should come down to the next line so printf backslash n for new line clear if I run this, save and run, see, we will get the output like this. So if I copy this, see with a little bit of change, we can achieve the output. The same code, okay, I will remove return 0. See, instead of printing 1, I will be printing percent D for integer printing, then space, comma, J. Okay. If I print J, every time J increments, the value of J will be printed. So, this, this part is also not needed. Okay. So, this is the code. Let us save. Instead of 1, printing 1, we are printing what? The column number. If I print the column number, then in first column, or 1 will be printed. In second column, all 2 will be printed. And in third column all three will be printed like this okay save run see the output is 1 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 now let us again copy this code and go to the next problem instead of this 1 1 2 if i want to print 1 then second row 2 2 that means we are printing the row number so if i print the same loop write the same loop and instead of printing j if i print i which is the row number then see in first row only one is printed in second row only two is printed okay so if i print the value of i which is controlling row i'll be getting this out so let us save run see now there is no space in between what you can do you can put a space after percent so it will look as it is given in the question done now let us go for the fourth problem. Now here what we are doing, we are printing 5 lines. So number of lines is fixed. We we'll start from 1 and we'll go up to 5. And each line we are printing 1, 2, 3, 4. It is fixed. So both lines and printing pattern is fixed. Okay. So 
I will take I and J. How many lines? Five lines. So I will be from one to five, and J will be from one to four, not I. Yes or no? So every time I's value increments, J will be again initialized to one, and it will print up to what? So what we are going to print? We are going to print percent D and the value of J because J will be one, two, three, four. Like this. Clear? Save and run. See the chipped output is as it is given in the question. Okay. Now let us move to the next row. We are printing five lines, and each line we are printing five. So it is a square box type format. So it is very simple. Printing will be always done directly by one. The loop will run from one to five and one to five. Five rows, five columns in each row. And instead of directly printing the value of i or j, okay, which will increment, we are just printing within double quotes. Why? Because now one will be string followed by space. If I save and run, see the achieved output is just which is required. Now the last one is 5, 5, 4, 5, 4, 3, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2 and 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now in this program, a little bit of change is to be made. Now how many lines we are going to print will be the first loop. How many lines are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. And five lines. So first loop will be from one to five. So this should be like this: i is equals to one, i is less than equals to five, i plus plus. J should be set to five because we'll start printing from five. Printing will always start from five. So j must be set to five. So as long as this value of j is greater than the value of 5 minus i. 5 minus i will be 4 because i is 1. The so 5 is greater, j is 5, 5 is greater than 4, it is true. So it will print the value of j which is 5. So percent d and then we will print j. Now after printing j, we should decrement j to its previous value. So j minus minus, j will now become 4. Okay. If it is 4, yes or no? If it is 4, 4 is not greater than 5. It will come out of the loop. We will go to the next line. And in the next line, the value of i will be 2. After this next line is executed, new line is executed, we will come to the end of the i loop and i will increment to 2. Now initially what we are doing, j is set to 5 again and then 5 is greater than equals to 5 minus 2 now. So 5 minus 2 is 3. How long j will be greater than 3? When it is 5 and when it is 4, then this 2 will be printed. So this is how we can print. So let us save and run the code see we have got the desired output okay so this is how we will be able to print output so we have done six programs hope you have understood okay i'll meet in the next video